हेलो फ्रेंड्स वो हैव टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स दिस चैप्टर वो हैव टू स्टडी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स व्हाट इज फ्लूड इनकॉम्प्रेसिबल फ्लूड हाइड्रोस्टैटिक्स कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रेशर प्रेशर एट अ पॉइंट ड्यू टू लिक्विड कॉलम एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर एब्सोलूट प्रेशर पास्कल्स लॉ मेजरमेंट ऑफ प्रेशर सरफेस टेंशन एंड सरफेस एनर्जी एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट टर्मिनल वेलॉसिटी एंड बर्नौलीज इक्वेशन नाउ वी हैव टू स्टडी द वन मोर स्टेट ऑफ मैटर फ्लूड फ्लूड मीन्स एनीथिंग विच फ्लोज कॉल्ड एज फ्लूड a substance that can flow called as flu- fluid a substance that can flow means if we drop some water on the floor then that water flows on the floor so substance that can flow called as a fluid that water is nothing but the fluid fluid is a phase of a matter that includes liquid gases and plasma a fluid is a substance which deforms continuously under the action of external force fluid flows under the action of pressure or external force for example air water toothpaste molten lava these are the examples of fluid now we have to study an ideal fluid properties it is incompressible incompressible means its density remains constant a fluid whose density does not change with change in pressure means density remains constant second it is non viscous there is no internal friction in the flow its flow is steady its velocity at each point is constant its flow is irrotational means its flow is smooth there are no turbulences in the flow then we have to study properties of real fluids they do not oppose deformation means they get permanently deformed they have ability to flow they have ability to take shape of the container next topic is fluid at rest now here we have to study what is the meaning of hydrostatics now hydro hydrostatics means it is the branch of physics which deals with properties of fluids called as hydrostatics hydrostatics is also the branch of physics and which deals with the properties of fluids then we have to study the pressure now here pressure means the norm- normal force exerted by a fluid at a rest per unit surface area of contact is called as pressure normal force exerted by a fluid per unit surface area if we have to take the liquid container or liquid column then we have to apply the external force and on the some surface area and that is called that is the pressure therefore pressure is equal to force upon area p is equal to f upon a yasa yes, unit of pressure is newton per meter square cgs unit dyn per centimeter square here yasa yes, unit is newton per meter square and 1 newton per meter square is equal to 1 pascal other common units of measuring pressure of a gas are bar and torr one bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square 
वन हेक्टर पास्कल इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड पास्कल डायमेंशन ऑफ प्रेशर आर यम वन यल माइनस वन टी माइनस टू प्रेशर इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी नेक्स्ट टॉपिक प्रेशर ड्यू टू लिक्विड कॉलम नाउ यर अ वेसल इज फिल्ड विथ लिक्विड ऑफ डेन्सिटी रो कन्सिडर एन इमेजनरी सिलिंडर ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ए एंड हाइट एच हियर वी हैव टू कन्सिडर सम लिक्विड कंटेनर हैविंग इमेजनरी सिलिंडर और लिक्विड कॉलम एंड दैट इमेजनरी सिलिंडर हैविंग क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया वी हैव टू टेक कैपिटल ए एंड हाइट एच द लिक्विड हैविंग डेन्सिटी इज रो then the weight of a liquid column exerts downward force and that weight of liquid column exerts downward force and therefore downward force is equal to weight of that liquid column means downward force is f and weight of liquid column is mg therefore f is equal to mg where m means mass g means acceleration due to gravity f means downward force here m means mass of that liquid column but mass is no, nothing but the rho into v means density into volume or density is equal to mass upon volume and if we have to convert this mass is equal to density into volume now put this equation here f is equal to रो इंटू वी इंटू जी नाउ हियर वी वी मीन्स वॉल्यूम ऑफ दैट लिक्विड कॉलम एंड हियर इफ वी हैव टू फाइंड द वॉल्यूम एंड वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू लेंथ इंटू ब्रीथ इंटू हाइट देर फोर वी हैव टू फूट हियर यम इज इक्वल टू रो इंटू ए इंटू यच इंटू जी देर फोर we have to find here pressure pressure nothing but the force upon area p is equal to f upon a therefore p is equal to put here f value of f therefore p is equal to f is nothing but the rho into ah into g upon a as it is here a gets cancelled p is equal to h rho g and that is the pressure due to liquid column next topic atmospheric pressure earth's atmosphere is made up of air or fluid air is nothing but the fluid therefore earth's atmosphere is made up of air it exerts a downward force due to its weight the pressure due to this force is called as atmospheric pressure the height of air column producing atmospheric pressure at sea level can be taken to be 8 km the region where gas pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure is called as vacuum gas pressure is less than atmospheric pressure and that region is called as vacuum now perfect or absolute vacuum is when no atoms or molecules are present next topic absolute pressure and gauss pressure now here figure shows water filled in a vessel figure shows water filled in a vessel consider an imaginary cylinder of a base area a imaginary cylinder of a base area a and height h let po po means atmospheric pressure be the pressure at the top and p be the pressure at the bottom of cylinder 
फॉर द इक्विलिब्रियम ऑफ लिक्विड कॉलम देर फोर टोटल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स इज इक्वल टू टोटल अपवर्ड फोर्स टोटल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स इज P0 जीरो इंटू ए टोटल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स इज पी जीरो इंटू ए सेकेंड वेट ऑफ लिक्विड कॉलम एंड वेट ऑफ लिक्विड कॉलम इज एम इंटू जी एम जी वेर अगेन वे हाउ टू फुट हियर मास इज नथिंग बट द डेन्सिटी इंटू वॉल्यूम देर फोर वेट ऑफ लिक्विड कॉलम इज इक्वल टू रो वी जी That is equal to rho into a h g. V is equal to we have to put area into height. Therefore, weight of liquid column is equal to rho a h g. And therefore, total downward force is equal to p zero into a plus rho a h g. Where a means Area of cross section of liquid column, rho is the density of liquid. Next topic: absolute pressure and gauge pressure. Sorry, same topic we have to continue here. first we have to see total downward force and that is nothing but equation is p0 into a plus rho a h g then second point we have to find total upward force we have to find total upward force and that is nothing but the p into a upward force here pressure p and area is a equation 1 becomes means downward force becomes p0 a plus rho a h g is equal to p into a and therefore a in inside bracket p0 plus rho h g take a outside of the bracket and that is equal to p into a therefore p0 plus rho h g And that is equal to P. A A gets cancelled. Therefore, P is equal to P zero plus rho h g. Rearranging the equation, we have to get P is equal to P zero plus rho h g. The above equation gives the total pressure or the absolute pressure P. The total pressure is the sum of atmospheric pressure p0 and pressure due to liquid column h rho g from equation 1 h rho g is equal to p minus p0 again rearranging the equation we have to get rho h g is equal to p minus <coughs> p0 <coughs> thus Gauge pressure is the difference between absolute pressure and atmospheric pressure. Thank you.